Hey, what's up everybody? Today I want to be looking at the mass airflow sensor right here and the circuit attached to this. I did a uh, readout of the error codes from the OBD port here and I got a P0100 error, which means something is wrong in the system. Now, before we go changing this, I had actually changed this a few months ago, so this unit is new. Um, Normally you could go and clean this, uh, that could be a cause of, of it malfunctioning. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll clean the connectors here with contact spray and we'll actually use a EGR cleaner to spray down the entire vacuum unit to see if we can find the leak. Now, WD-40 could also be useful, anything that's actually uh, butane gas driven. So what will happen when the engine idles and the gas goes in, it will start idling higher and you can tell that there's a leak there. As we'll be spraying down multiple parts of the air intake system, an old rag is useful to wipe off any excess. Um, and of course, I'll still have some EGR cleaner left, so I'll use that. Turns out my car actually doesn't have an EGR valve, so that was pretty useless having that. But um, it was actually quite useful to clean out the throttle body, so that's, that's okay. Now, we actually need the engine running for this, so um, what we'll do first, we'll put the key in and uh, start her up take it from there. And as always when you're working on your car, put the key in the ignition so your alarm doesn't trip, roll a window down so you don't, lock yourself out. Uh, we're not going to disconnect the battery of course because we need the engine running. Make sure it's neutral, handbrake on, and let's kick her off. Lovely. Well, I just sprayed this down with contact spray a bit, but the cables of the mass airflow connector here seem fine as well. I followed them through here. Nothing seems broken or brittle, so I'm going to assume those are okay. So this is actually a cheaper aftermarket part. It's not an OEM, so it may be that this doesn't actually quite meet the spec, but uh, it seems to run fine on higher RPMs. It's only when I'm idling I'm getting a rough idle. So um, yeah, I think the smoke test is really the way to go here. So I've been spraying this all around, around the intake manifold, the throttle body, the air connection right here going to the mass airflow sensor um, even some pipes coming out of the throttle body assembly there couldn't really hear any change at all and as you can hear on these connectors there nothing the engine just idles exactly the same so at this point in time that's kind of pointing to a faulty sensor or maybe another great sensor at low idle um, but maybe I might have to actually run a smoke test because this is not really being very conclusive. Now, a smoke test is of course more reliable. Uh, these are a great first way of trying to find faults before you go crazy on the car. So um, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and good luck with your uh, vacuum leak.